what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Minecraft SOS, where this week is Buddy Week, which means each of us gets assigned a buddy to take care of, and if they're still alive by the end of the week, you get a fate coin. And unlucky for Pix, he has been tasked with making sure I don't die. So for my own safety and Pix's sanity, I'll be doing something nice and safe. I'm going to dig out my very own chunk from Pix's big hole under his careful supervision. Right, so here is your uh, company mandated elytra. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll give you three stacks of fireworks. Ooh, thank you. And I'll also give you some shulker boxes. And here is an efficiency five silk touch pickaxe. <gasps> Ooh, thank you. Okay, I'm ready to mine. Show right. me the hole. Uh, so hop down the vines over here. If you press F3 and G, you will see the chunk borders all around us. And so that will give you the outline of where you need to dig. Okay, cool. I'm excited. So if you need anything, give me a shout. You'll be impressed. You'll see how quickly I dig out this entire chunk. Just watch me. I'm looking forward to it. Not to be dramatic, but this is the best day of my life. I'm not kidding when I say I was having the time of my life in this hole. This is what Minecraft is all about. Just look at me go. Happy as a clam. But it wasn't long until I reached a flooded cave, which posed a bit of an issue. But Pix showed me his flooded cave protocol. Time for sponge protocol. I think we can probably just oh. spam it a little bit and see how we get on. You know, I got some sponges once because I just went to an ocean monument. Oh, my mic was off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks to the sponge protocol, the cave was now drier than my conversational skills, and I could go back to living my best life mining away. And the next hour or so was uneventful, until I reached Deep Slate, which is much slower to mine. So from now on, mining out this chunk will require a different approach. So now, start bone mealing moss, and it will it will spread to all of the Deep Slate. It won't cover any of the ore blocks though, so Ooh, you still get to keep those. okay. <gasps> there you go. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, genius! Alright, well, I'm glad you like it because you're going to be doing this for a little while longer. <laughs> okay, how much further do I have to go? It goes down to negative 59 is when you start getting bedrock. Good luck! Thanks! <laughs> Once again, I was having the time of my life, but it wasn't long before I hit another small flooded section. No big deal though, I'm trained in the ways of the sponge protocol. I just needed to borrow a couple of sponges from the equipment chest, and I was eager to try it out for myself. Or should I say, I was dying to try it out for myself, because that is exactly what I did next. <gasps> Why did I do that? Emergency, emergency, it's happened again! I need Pix to revive me again! Move your little sniffer butt! Quickly! I need to get back to my grave! Oh! The sniffer is too big! I should have picked a more agile mob to possess. Oh, great. Ooh, a wolf! Can I just borrow your body real quick? I don't have time to lose. If people find out I died to falling again, I will be the laughing stock of this entire server. Hey guys! Oh, oh no! There oh you are. no! Oh, Lizzie, what happened? You'll never guess what happened to me. I was really excited to get back down into the hole and do some mining, and I, I think I just flew in too fast. Oh, Lizzie. Is Lizzie Eloise. a dog? Oh good, everyone's here then. <laughs> oh no, Lizzie's a dog. <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie is a dog, yes. Oh, dear Shall me. we get you back? I have always wanted to see a wolf jump in. Go oh my god! Oh my goodness. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm as an employee, Lizzie, but uh, I have just lost the challenge because it was my job to take care yeah, of you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Nobody could have saved me from myself. It's true, it's true. Oh, there we go. And there you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some hole mining to do. Yeah, no dilly dallying. Back to the hole. Ah, Back oh, to the hole. Okay. After that embarrassing affair, I had no choice but to finish mining this chunk to assert my dominance. So I continued on with the moss mining method. And as a bonus, Pix said that I could keep everything I found inside the chunk. So when I found these deep slate copper R blocks, and I suddenly realized how cool they look, I stashed them away in one of my shulker boxes for later. Then just a few layers deeper, I found my first diamonds. Unfortunately, they were not inside my chunk. They were in fact, in the chunk next door. So I had to leave those ones. But the further down I got, the more diamonds appeared and in huge veins. Oh my gosh, give me all the diamonds. 
Oh, baby. I was really starting to enjoy myself again. Until the rain came along and reminded me that death could be around the corner at any second. Oh, no! Oh, this is dangerous! What if I get struck by lightning? Not taking any more chances in this hole. Ah, uh, that's much better. <gasps> is that bedrock? Oh my gosh! This is the last layer! Oh, I'm kind of sad that it's ending. Once I mine this layer, I'm free to leave the hole. Ta-da! Who would have thought mining an entire chunk would be so rewarding? Especially because pigs let me keep all of the leftover moss. I snatched up all these saplings. And most importantly, I found all of these ore blocks because I want to do something interesting with them back at my base. Now, let's go back home. Oh, sweet. Can I get struck by lightning if I'm flying through a thunderstorm? I can't die again today. Oh, thank goodness I have a nice cozy house to snuggle up in during the storm. Ah! Okay, that's it. I'm installing a lightning rod. Oh, it is not safe here. Now the process of installing the lightning rod might be dangerous, but it'll be worth it because this is gonna look really cool. And now when the lightning strikes, this is gonna look epic. Any second now. <gasps> yes! Okay, that is so cool! This is really adding to the sinister ambiance we have going on here. Now, for my next trick, I will organize the disorganized. Decorate the undecorated. So, let's see. Where do I even start? Oh gosh, where do I even start? There's just so much mess. Oh, hello? Hello there! What do you have for me? Whoa! Tiny diamond blocks. Oh, and tiny bee nests! Oh my gosh. I need some of these. Don't you go anywhere. You couldn't have arrived at a better time, honestly. I was just thinking about doing some decorating. I will take your finest tiny diamonds, all of those gold blocks, and tiny bee nests. Thank you very much. And now we can use these to decorate with. But for now, I'll just add them to my pile of chaos. It was about time to stop faffing around and get organizing. And I don't know why I put this off for so long because when I actually started to get into it, I was really enjoying myself. I was so in the zone that I didn't even notice the wandering trader honking incessantly in the background. And before I knew it, two hours had passed and the mess was gone. The only thing left is my fake coin jar and I organized the rest of my belongings into this slightly chaotic organization system that you don't need to understand. I know where everything is. Now at the moment my skulk room is looking rather empty. So in here I want to showcase some of my struggles and triumphs here on the SOS server. So we'll start with my first triumph, the pitcher plants, which I've been growing in my sniffer garden. What is this? Feather falling? Is this meant to be some kind of joke? Somebody thinks I need feather falling, do they? No siree! That is a ridiculous assumption. I've been doing perfectly fine on my own without any feather falling, thank you very much. Okay, seriously, thank you, whoever gave me the feather falling. Now, let's gather some of my pitcher plants. Now these are a little bit annoying because they won't go in a pot, so I'll have to get creative with my flower display. And after some experimentation, I decided to display them in their growing phase, like so. Now to balance it out on the other side, I thought we could build a little memento of my time in the hole. So I built a rock out of deep slate, and then I'm going to nestle some of this diamond ore just peeking out, and then some of my mini diamond blocks just sitting on top. Now I still have a bunch of these deep slate ores left over, and with these, I want to decorate the exterior of my base. So with these, I built a few rocky outcroppings out of deep slate around my base, and to each one I added different ore veins. And I may have gotten a little bit carried away. My land is now covered in these rocky outcroppings, but I think it really adds to the mysterious vibe we have going on here so far. And if you think this looks weird, just wait until you see what I add next. 